Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're new and stopping by, I appreciate you chiming in on my channel and I hope you find it fitting to subscribe. So today we're back with another episode of Inspire and Encourage. Today I wanted to just talk about celebrating where you are. So, so many times we get caught up in um, where we are currently as far as it not being where we want it to be, our goals that we have set not coming to fruition, uh, the, just the life that we have maybe not being exactly where we, where in our mind it played out it would be at the moment. Uh, thinking that, you know, looking at other people's lives sometimes even and seeing where they are versus where we are and then we get into a whole comparison type of thing. Um, or even just, you know, expecting better from ourselves, we start beating up on ourselves sometimes. I, it's something that, of course, that I've fallen susceptible to from time to time, and I'm certain that it's something that everyone experiences in their lives from time to time. However, I just wanted to say that we have to make sure that we're taking a step back, and it's something that I encourage everyone to do every day. Take a, take a step back and celebrate what you have accomplished. Celebrate the things that you've already overcome. Celebrate where you are now versus where you were five or 10 years ago, last year, one month ago, even one week. I'm quite positive there are some things that you have going on in your life now um, that are worth celebrating, having overcome, having made it through, having changed, having uh, been able to experience growth in, whatever the case may be. Um, just take out a moment of time every day to sit back and celebrate where you are currently because you are worth it. Um, as a child of God, I believe that, you know, we have to remind ourselves that God found us worth it. He found us worth it to give us his only son, um, to give us the options to have, to give us the ability to be redeemed. Uh, he, he found us worthy, even in our sinful state, to uh, send his son Jesus to die on the cross for us, to save us from our sins. If we chose salvation, if it's something that we actually chose to do, which is redemption, he left it up to us as an option to choose and gave, his, gave us his son anyway, not even with the guarantee that we would. Um, and so he gave his son to us because he felt that we were worth it, even in our sinful states. And so... For that, I'm thankful. For that, I can say that I have been set free. I have been redeemed. I'm victorious. I'm an overcomer. I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. And so uh, certainly in in the life of someone who is a Christian, um, in your life if you are a Christian, those are things that you need to remind yourself of. Remind yourself of because it's what you've already gone through. It's what has been done for you. And the word is living. It is a living and it... Um, is something that is going to help flow into your future as well. And so stating those things also are gonna help you to accomplish those things that you are looking to accomplish at the same time. So don't lose sight of that. Um, it's something that you know you, you have to continue to remind yourself about over and over because if you don't, then you will lose sight of it. You know, I've gotten, uh, you know, definitely over the course of my life, I have learned that if I don't continue to keep my sight on the word of God, on speaking the things that the word says about me over my life constantly and staying in tune with it constantly because it's about being intentional, then I will start sliding into anxiety and depression, which is something that I, uh, you know, unfortunately suffer about. But I think that even in the Christian world in the world of Christianity is something that we have to be comfortable with talking about because it's not something that disappears by itself, you know? And so speaking those things over my life um, and being intentional in them, even when I maybe don't feel like it, even when I don't see, when, even when it's hard for me to see past where I am currently is what helps propel me into the future. It's what helps me make it through and out of the situations that I may be in. It's what helps me keep it going when I see that I've done it before, you know? And so definitely just just keep those things in mind. And, um, you know, if you aren't a Christian, if this isn't your walk currently and it's something that um, you are interested in finding out more about um, and maybe you don't want to do it on an open forum, hit me up. I have my contact information listed below. I'm here to pray for you, talk with you, um, help you uh, with asking God for understanding because I'm not, you know, a teacher in that way. However, we could definitely help 
you know, I can definitely help you uh, with understanding how it is that God and the Holy Spirit can bring things to your understanding. Um, and, you know, if there is something that the Holy Spirit imparts in me to tell you, I will. And if it's not something that you're interested in, I pray that the Holy Spirit just tugs at your heart a bit and it's something that maybe in the future you will be. If you did like this video, um, again, it's just supposed to be little five minute videos that I'm doing every week on Sundays, you'll see them posting. If you did like this video, hit the like button and let me know. Um, certainly make some comments for me down below let me know what you think about this series let me know what you think about the content on it um, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already but until next time thanks so much for watching inspire and encourage bye